Good morning, Dal Sarkan here. Uh, hoop lessons and tips and tricks. Hoop lesson 101.4. Just finished a uh, just finished a little uh, workout this morning on the treadmill, of course, and uh, just did some weights. Uh, if you don't have these things, you can you can do alternate things to warm up. But I do strongly suggest that you warm up before you. Uh, Get into some hoop dancing and uh, hoop dance is exercise for the mind, for the body, for the soul, and it's all around goodness. So I'm gonna share a few more techniques with you today to help you um, continuously uh, use the hoop in different ways. So one of the techniques I often show people is how to spin and switch hands. So how you do that, is you actually uh, you have to learn to spin on each hand like this so you go left right and catch right so you spin around and you catch it right so then on the other hand you got to teach yourself the exact same thing so what you do on the left you have to do on the right right so how you switch it is you spin and then you cross over like this and you grab it and then this hand comes on out of it and then it's like this, right? So you spin. So it's two spins to change it. And then you stop it, and then spin, cross the other way, catch, and spin. So spin, cross, catch. Spin, cross, catch. So that's all I'm doing, as I'm going like this, okay? Now let's try to do it to some music and see how that goes. So I'm just gonna put on any music that's playing. This is on the playlist on TV. This is my living room, by the way, so it can be done in your living room. So just as easy. So I'm gonna catch the beat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. And I'll slow it down to every second beat. So one, two, three, four. One, Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now here's every beat. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Notice how I eventually use my knees in that as you can incorporate more tricks into that move. So say you get good at it and then you get real brave. So when you cross over, instead of just catching it, you could actually throw it up like that. So one, two, instead of just catching and grabbing, you could actually throw it up and then catch it again. So one, two, three, four. It's like that. I don't have a high ceiling, so I'm always gonna hit the ceiling. But you can do it in, in small areas. You could just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just like that. So once you get fancy with it, you could you could be throwing your hoop up. So that's a few hoop hand techniques that I'll show you, just like that. And then eventually what you do is you incorporate your knee into it like that. That's what I do. And then if you get really good at it, you can incorporate other, other routines like this, like a side kick, just a little side kick like that. And then your knees. And then if you get real good, you can go back and forth like this with your knees. Just time it. One, two, three. It's almost like jogging on the spot. So you're exercising your hands. You're jumping and hopping, exercising your feet. And at the same time, you're exercising your mind because your mind is choreographing as you go, okay? So that's one little hand trick that can lead into so many other areas of uh, the dance and the hoop dancing. So it just goes on and on like an infinite loop, okay? So 
Uh, I'll show you one other technique before. Uh, I don't want to show you too much at once because this is only uh, one on one point four, and we got so many lessons to go. So here's another lesson. This is just uh, a simple loop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop my body through this hoop. And how I do that is I step in the hoop like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two turns like this. So the hoop is say, say it's facing north south. Your body needs to go like your arms and your torso need to go east west. So like that. So you step in, you keep the hoop north south and you go like this and you twirl around like you're going east west. And then what happens is you start it out on the left and then after you go around the second time you end it off on the right. Well that's my right anyway it would be different for you. So, so this is all I'm doing is I'm stepping in and I'm using my body turning in keeping this hoop straight with my hand like that and then I turn it in again keep that hoop the exact precise north south. So when I step in it, I'm going like this. One, two, out. One, two, and out. So that's an infinite loop. You can go so many times with it. And then you can even incorporate other moves with it. You can incorporate this move where you just come out on one leg like that with one hoop. And that's a good exercise too because that's another combination that hoop dancing leads into, right? So, say I did this combination. I did it once, and then I do it twice. And then on the second one, I lead into a move. So I start like this, one turn, and then I could just bring this over my head like this, and out the other side. So that's the right. And then back and forth, left, right and then one last final thing that I encourage you all to do in practice I'm um, already working up a good sweat after working up a good sweat this morning um, one other thing that I suggest drink lots of water anyways <laughs> this is another exercise I'm going to show you that would be good for your all around exercise, like to finish off your exercise routine. It works your glutes, so your butt muscles, your thigh muscles, it works a little bit of your core muscles, it works your, your arms a little bit. And all it is simply is jumping through the hoop. So all I do is I have to get into a posture, crouch down, and go like this. And what I'm doing is I'm actually making the hoop with my arms, I'm using my arms like this with the hoop, right? So you're using your arms like this. So I'm going one, two, three, four. And after a while, once you get good at that, and it's a re reverse. So you're not traditionally skipping like this. That's hard to do with the hoop. It's actually easier if you go backwards. So that's all I do. So I'll do sets. Just like in working out, like when you're doing sets for pumping iron and stuff. So I'll do sets for hoops. So I, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pro, so I do 50. So if you can work yourself up to that, that's great. So the best to start out in tens. So if you can do a set of 10, great. So try it out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's really good. So after a while, when you get more experienced, then you can do it in a circle. You can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay? And then to progress that, all you gotta do is just put a little bit more speed into it. So like one. Like that the more speed will give you more tension it'll give you more challenge and it'll challenge your heart rate your muscles everything and it all solidifies and that's basically some little tips and routines so do everything in sets sets of fours 
sets of eights and uh, try to do it to a beat. Always do it to a beat because the beat will control your body. So that's all I have for today for lessons. I don't want to overwhelm anybody with uh, trying to teach everything all at once. So uh, enjoy. Thanks for tuning in. For those of you that tuned in, uh, yes, I do do lessons and I do uh, visit schools and stuff. So if you want me to, uh, we can organize that somehow. Just visit my website, dallasarcan.ca. And uh, if not, hopefully these videos are helping you uh, with your workout, with your hoop dancing. And hello to all the fellow hoop dancers out there. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you. I'm Dallas Arcan.